G'day guys, today I'm taking you through a quick tutorial in how to potentially set up your first lot of crypto coin mining. I'm putting this together because a friend of mine asked me how he could get into it, uh, noting I don't mine anymore. Uh, so I did a bit of research and put together some information for him and decided why not make this more readily available. Um, the first thing I'll say is down to the selection of service dash site I've picked, it's through a provider called Unminable. Now the reason I picked Unminable is I don't trust any site that says there is no potential risk to your equipment from mining crypto coins. And the reason I say this is it's false. There is always a risk. Uh, so I don't trust a service that says there's not. And the reason for this risk and the reason for potential damage is uh, thermal damage. So if your, for example, graphics card heats up too much, it can be damaged. And secondly, if your graphics card is rapidly heating up and then cooling, the differences in expansion rates and the materials inside the chips can also cause damage. So note, I note, mine at your own risk. Um, however, Unminable also has a lower, um, lower setting, uh, which helps to minimize that risk. But ultimately, you want your graphics card running coolish um, at a relatively uh, constant temperature. All right, so let's get straight into it. Just uh, hit up on the link down below uh, to load into the site. Now note, this has a referral ring link. Uh, the reason for this is by using a referral code, um, I get a little bit, which helps me make videos, and you also get a decreased rate of fees from 1% down to 0.75%. All right, so once you load the site, just hit straight on the download, and then very simply download the Win64 pack version. Once you've done that, unpack it into whatever location you want. Now, one of the bits I will note now is that you may need to create an exception for Windows Defender to the location that you run this file outside of. The reason this happens is mining software for a long time was used in the payloads of different viruses and worms. And as such, a lot of Wind Defender other type softwares will recognize it as a threat. Um, this, so, this sort of software and the, and the miner that it uses, I haven't had problems with, um, but you just need to, as I said, add an exception for that location uh, if you're having those sort of problems. So anyway, I've done that, I've downloaded it, I've extracted it and I put it in a location. Let's show you what happens next. So once we get into the software, you'll notice, as I said, this has that warning up front. Um, so we hit continue. You can either pick graphics card or CPU. Um, CPU mining is not terribly profitable, um, whereas at the moment, because of Ethereum prices, GPU mining is. Now, the next bit is probably one of the most critical and important bits. And I just wanna talk about this for a second. This software doesn't mine a lot of the other coins that you'll see on here. Rather, it will mine either Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, which are currently the most profitable for GPU mining, and then transfer that into the coin or token that you select. In this case, the one that I'm recommending to my friend is a token called Win. Now, the reason I'm recommending this is that it has reportedly a lot of growth potential so for example, at the moment, if you're mining at a rate of a dollar a day and it goes up by times 10, then your $1 per day for X number of days potentially turns into $10 per day, turning this from already profitable into very profitable. So all you do here, once you get to the second screen, insert your wallet address. Um, depending on the different coin will determine what, uh, what type of wallet you use. Uh, there's a lot of wallets on phones. Uh, that you can use. What I would recommend though, is you have some sort of phone wallet, secure phone or phone wallet as your mining wallet. So where the coins go uh, routinely from this. And then once every week or so, you transfer coins from that into a hardware wallet because a hardware wallet will always be more secure. And if you're planning on holding stuff, you really wanna hold it in a secure manner. Also make sure that you throw in the referral code 
um, into this bit down here. And then once you've done that, click the start button. Give it a couple of seconds and it will start it will start calculating through. So I ran this as a test just before um, before I started this video, just to make sure the uh, software is working. And this was from a couple of minutes. So what you wanna to see to make sure the software is working is that you have a current hash rate and then you have a calculated hash rate. Notice that these will be slightly different. Um, and this is what the pool is reporting and varies based on a number of different factors. Uh, the other thing to note here is from this page, you can go back to the website and then use your same wallet address that you've got on the web page um, to produce, like to bring up your current stats for your mining. Now, uh, the reason I also say that is on that web page, if we go back to it, Uh, you'll notice here that it has a little tick for automatically pay. I highly recommend um, on this and indeed any other mining type platform that you ensure that this button is set to auto pay. Uh, that way the funds will just keep automatically ticking back into your wallet over time and you won't need to worry too much or think about it or track it or that stuff. Additionally, it prevents a build up, a large build up of crypto coins on the site, um, which you really don't want. Ultimately, if you mine stuff, if you own stuff, you want to hold it yourself, uh, which as I said, is why I, I highly recommend setting this to auto pay. And this figure will basically depend on the value of the coin. All right, guys, I can go through later um, different softwares if you want like leave a comment if you want me to go through how to set up other stuff other pools if, if you're interested in that sort of stuff i noticed that unminable will not always give you the highest bang for buck for example if you're mining straight ethereum uh, the reason is pretty much they transfer it for for all you so it stops you having to transfer stuff to an exchange and losing money on gas fees and then it, it uh, transfer it out um, and like I said, if you're mining something that has a growth potential in it, then you're potentially gonna be better off in the long run anyway. All right guys, if you like this video, chuck us a thumbs up and subscribe so I can put out more stuff in the future, but otherwise, have yourselves an absolutely great day.